Hi, what's up, 75 Morton? My name is Nicholas, AKA NRG. I'm the new music teacher here at 75 Morton, and I'm so excited to be with you guys this year. I got my homie, my partner in crime, Leanne. She's filming for me. Say hi, Leanne. <laughs> And I'm just gonna answer a few questions about me so you can get to know me a little bit better. I'm gonna take my mask off. This is my fabulous Mickey Mouse mask. Mickey is my homie. I got my Mickey Mouse Gucci flip ups to match. <laughs> I'm gonna take it off because we're social distancing so you can hear me a little bit better. Is that cool? All right. Okay, what is your favorite thing about where you grew up? I grew up in a place far, far away from here called Phoenix, Arizona, which is north of Mexico. Um, and my favorite thing about where I grew up is the food, because we have tons of Mexican inspired food, tacos, tamales, all of that. So, yo soy de Arizona, a norte de Mexico, and yo quiero comidas mucho, mucho, mucho. What was your favorite quarantine pastime? My favorite quarantine pastime was actually getting better at cooking because all the restaurants were closed during the pandemic. I had to really, really rely on my skills in the kitchen that my mama taught me. So um, I tried out all these new recipes, all these um, fancy desserts and all of this stuff during the quarantine. So I really, really loved cooking. <laughs> <laughs> what is your least favorite song? <laughs> my least favorite song um, is a song by this singer named Jaheem and he's like a singer that was really popular in the late 90s and early 2000s and it's called Anything and I hate that song because he says just dream, dream of Jaheem just dream dream of Jaheem and that's like the big line from the song and it makes me want to be violent it's my least favorite song Marry it! Okay hey guys, I think I know what the answer to this one is and buckle up. What is your most embarrassing moment from middle school? <sighs> middle school. Middle school was so awkward for me, but I came out of it alive. So if you're awkward right now, don't worry, you'll come out of it alive and you'll be okay. In the seventh grade, this kid named Dominique was playing with this taco bowl and he was mixing it up with all this different stuff and it made it look very gross and I just, drank a vanilla milkshake and I threw up the vanilla milkshake on the table and he comes back and he's like Ugh, is that throw up and then after that I just started throwing up crazy in the garbage can and the whole school surrounded me in a circle at the lunch table and every time I go Ugh, they all went Ugh, and I'd be like Ugh, and they were like Ugh. it was really a scene out of a movie that was my most embarrassing time in middle school, seventh grade lunch. And look, you survived. I survived. I'm alive. <laughs> Who are your biggest musical influences? Number one, she just passed away two years ago, Aretha Franklin, hands down, the queen of soul, the most one of the most amazing voices ever created by the creator. Um, two, Brandy. Brandy, also known as Moesha. Some of you um, may have seen Moesha that just came back to Netflix and she had this big song in the 90s with Monica called The Boy Is Mine. Biggest musical influence. And then lastly, somebody you may have never heard of, her name is Bjork. She's an Icelandic pop singer who made her debut as a child and has grown up in the forefront of the media her entire life and has done some pretty amazing and influential work. <laughs> When did you first fall in love with music? I fell in love with music at the age of three, watching Whitney Houston sing The Greatest Love of All on MTV. That was the first time I really recognized like the power of music, and I actually cried when I heard the song, which it moved me and I didn't understand why, but now I know why, and that actually became the first song that I ever sung and perform. So if you get a chance, look it up. Whitney Houston, one of the most beautiful voices ever, the greatest love of all. Check it out. If you taught something other than music, what would it be? 
I would probably teach drama because I'm so dramatic and so over the top. And I love performing and I love every aspect of entertainment. So if I didn't teach music, I would probably teach musical theater or some form of drama. What is the most important aspect of your wardrobe? It's the sneakers for me. I like that. What are three things that you cannot live without? My family, music, and peach cobbler. Especially made by my grandma. What are you most looking forward to this year? This year, I'm looking forward to building new relationships here at 75 Morton. I'm so excited to be with you all this year. Um, even though it's so crazy, it's such crazy times and everything's so uncertain, we have each other. And I'm so excited to be able to create music and to show you everything I know and to learn from you and to see how creative you can be. So this year is about to be dope and I'm so excited. And thank you for letting me be here with you. And P.S. for those of you who were supposed to have me for eighth or seventh grade, um, but now are not going to because of everything that's happened this year. I just want to say that you are in the best of hands with my BFF Nicholas here, and you guys are going to have an awesome year, and I'm going to miss you terribly, and I'm going to be jealous of him, but you're going to have a freaking awesome year. Love you. I just want to let you know I'm feeling good tonight. I want you to take my hand and promise you be cool Because I know you like the way that I move Oh boy NRG, what is your famous pose? <laughs> there he is, the Instagram famous guy himself You can't follow him though happy <laughs> So very happy I'm not gonna do that because I don't have my flute with me. Wait, I'm gonna have my flute. I took flute. I passed my flute test too, I swear. What do you band students think? Did he? <laughs> I passed my flute test, I swear, bro. We're gonna have to be the judge of that. It's not hard to say what I feel because you know.